There's nothing quite like the great outdoors, but when it comes to the battle against coronavirus, the state government isn't taking any risks. Outdoor education and activities are strictly off limits for school students, a decision the industry is calling unnecessary and unfair. Dining at a busy cafe, playing team sport or working out at a gym, all activities deemed acceptable during the COVID-19 pandemic. But if it's abseiling, kayaking or camping you're into, think again. Extracurricular outdoor activities for schools in New South Wales banned by the state government. A blow the outdoor industry sector is labelling unfair. If a cafe can put a COVID safe plan in place and have visitors come and trade, we've got a COVID safe plan in place. Why can't we have visitors and come and trade? The sector normally generates around seven and a half billion dollars across New South Wales each year. For businesses like Great Aussie Bush Camps, no schools means no work. We've been shut down since the middle of March. We had to lay off 82 of our team. We've got 23 still on JobKeeper and we're just sitting here trying to ride it out, hoping that we can welcome kids uh, back to camp as soon as we can. Experts aren't convinced shutting down outdoor education is logical. What effect is this having on, on children and youth um, by not having sporting activities, by not having outdoor education? Um, and that's a real consequence. New South Wales Health says it's not necessarily the types of activities, but the circumstances surrounding them. The focus purely on reducing community spread. It's really about the environment where you are um, potentially sharing in a household like accommodation associated with it. It's the bus, prolonged bus travel to it. To the event. Risks the industry is adamant can be safely managed. We can operate according to the public health orders. We have COVID safe plans in place. We should be able to operate as a business, but our customers are told that they can't come. Grace Fitzgibbon, Nine News.